Good afternoon, Mets fans. Today is Wednesday, the 22nd of March, and you are listening to Drive In with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met. Thanks for taking a look at the video. Yesterday, I talked about the bullpen um, for the New York Mets in 2017, and today I want to talk about not the game uh, that the Mets ended up losing to the Marlins today, uh, but instead, I want to talk about the starting rotation. So yesterday, as I mentioned, I talked about the bullpen, which I think is is sort of the most in flux out of anything on the team right now. The polar opposite can be said for the starting rotation. Um, the Mets have what a lot of other teams would covet out of their starting rotation, and that is a good amount of depth. The Mets have five guys who uh, are, I, I guess you could call them legit major league stars, and um, really uh, almost five aces. Um, you have, of course, three absolute locks to start the season in the rotation. You've got Noah Syndergaard, you've got Jacob deGrom, and you've got Steven Matz. Then you have two spots for effectively four guys. Two of them are big names, uh, both recovering from surgery from last year, and that would be, of course, Matt Harvey and Zach Wheeler. The other two are lesser names, but they're no less impressive because what Seth Lugo and Robert Gzelman did last year really carried the Mets to their postseason berth and they're claiming the wild card spot. So the big question now, frankly, is um, about extended spring training. Do the Mets feel it would be more appropriate to have Matt Harvey and or Zach Wheeler start the season in extended spring training? Wheeler has not had a lot of work. He doesn't have a lot of innings under his belt. Um, I think prior to his appearance today, uh, which was a bit rocky, He'd only had a little over four innings pitched, uh, so four innings of work. Uh, Harvey has a few more innings uh, under his belt. He's got over 10. Um, again, very small sample size. That's the, that's the theme of spring training, but um, he's, looked, he's looked like he's getting stronger with every start. The results aren't there as far as the wins or losses, as far as the earned run average. Um, the results look eerily similar to the way they did last season at the beginning of the year when Harvey got off to such a bad start. Um, but his velocity is there. He's throwing in the mid-90s, and he's too smart of a pitcher to end up not being successful this year. So I'm, I'm holding out hope that Harvey's going to be just fine as the season progresses. But the question at hand, as I mentioned, is what happens with these guys at the beginning of the season? Do they start an extended spring training? And as a result, do Seth Lugo and Robert Zellman end up filling in the four and five spots in the rotation to start the season? Those are the really those are the only real question marks surrounding this team right now, and the Mets have a are, are in a position that other teams would be envious of, and that's that they have this uh, this depth with the starting rotation. And I've said this from the very beginning of driving with Mr. Met, and long before I started doing these videos, health is the key. If the starters can remain healthy, this team has a really good shot to go deep into the playoffs this year. So do you agree with my assessment of the starting rotation? Do you think that Harvey and Wheeler should start the season in spring training, uh, in extended spring training rather? Or do you think they should be on the major league roster in the four and five spots of the rotation? Do you think Lugo and or Zellman, Lugo by the way, uh, has put up some incredible numbers this spring combining his work with the Mets and with Team Puerto Rico in the World Baseball Classic, but that's neither here nor there. Does he deserve a spot at the rotation? Let me know in the comments below, or as always, you can reach me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. Thanks so much for uh, watching today's video, and until next time, as always, let's go Mets!